You ever heard of a glory grabber? See, the Lu Lucifer was trying to touch God's glory. That's what happened. Yeah. You ever heard of a glory grabber? They're the ones where you're working on a team project and everything turns out well. And they say, yeah, well, it was my idea to put this over here. And that really makes the whole thing perfect, doesn't it? The glory grabbers. Or, or like when somebody tells you, well, I got healed. I got, I got healed. I've been pressing. I've been praying. I've been believing God. And I got healed. And they want to tell you, oh, I was praying for you all night last night. You got the breakthrough. <laughs> the glory grabber. Oh, Sean, they know somebody that does that right there in row three. <laughs> glory grabbers. The problem is you can't touch God's glory. Remember Herod in the Bible? They were all King Herod. They were all uh, praising him and telling him how great he was. And he received the glory. And all of a sudden he got eaten up by worms. He was gone. Aren't you glad we're in a new covenant? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth. I'd hate to turn around and look back and see a bunch of eaten up worm bodies out there today after this message. Oh, Jesus, help me bring it back in. <laughs> when we try to touch God's glory, he actually opposes us and he humbles us. Listen, Isaiah 42, verse 8. Isaiah 42, verse 8. I am the Lord. That is my name. I will not give my glory to anyone else. He will not. He'll put up with a lot. Nathan, you missed the part about the worship leader in heaven. <laughs> Would you like anyone to hear all your thoughts? <laughs> Me neither, man. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus. He said, I will not. He'll put up with a lot of things. But he will not let you touch his glory. That's a quick way to get humbled in a hurry. Jesus said he saw Satan fall like lightning. Proverbs 16, 18 says, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall. Now, this is a true story. Listen to this. It took me five hours to find it. You're going to listen good. <laughs> During the Battle of Spotsylvania in the Civil War, Union General John Sedgwick was inspecting his troops. At one point, he came to a parapet over which he gazed out in the direction of the enemy. His officers, listen, his officers suggested that this was unwise. And perhaps he ought to duck while passing the parapet. Nonsense, snapped the general. They couldn't hit an elephant at this distance. Right after those words left his mouth, he was struck dead right on the spot. Because he was too proud to listen to counsel. That's why I'm so grateful. I have counsel around me, and I don't make big decisions without it. Somebody say pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before the fall. It does. It does.